Yo, 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 welcome back. NFL main slate. Yo, week three. Let's see if everyone can get their shit together and get on the same page. That'd be great, right? If you're new, my name is Gabriel Skywalker, the chosen one, the perfect specimen, the 60 minute man. You can do me a favor, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, and leave me a comment down below. I really do appreciate that. It just helps out the channel, gets more eyes, ears, and asses on the channel. I'm rocking my Oakland A's Jose Canseco jersey. I will be going to uh, the final series in Oakland ever. So, um, yeah, that'll be on Tuesday. I'm going to vlog it. I'll be right behind the plate. If you guys want to watch the game on Tuesday, your boy will be on TV the whole time because I'm right there. If you're going to be at the game, come down, say hello, man. Say what's up. Um, I'd love to meet you guys. So, Tuesday, Tuesday night's uh, Oakland home game against the Texas Rangers, guys. So, yo. Let's get into it. I got four picks for you guys. Um, they're not correlated. I'm gonna I'm gonna save the correlated stacks for the DFS club because uh, we killed it yesterday in college football with the correlation, man. Um, yesterday was great. Yesterday was great for college football. Hit a ton of double ups. Ton of double ups. I played. You know, every slip for college football yesterday cash, but one. Every one but one, guys. Think about that and. We got a very special guest. We got Schroeder Skywalker. He says, yeah, where's my jersey at? Well, you like Mike Trout, so, you know, yours is, yours is on the way, Schroeder. I don't know if Mike Trout's ever going to play again. All right, well, let's talk about some football. All right, let's talk about some football, Schroeder. Let's bring it up. You guys want to join the Discord, yo. You got to get your butts in here. We're less than 50 cents a day, like I always say. Go to the website. You go to dfsclub.com. This is one way of getting in here. You sign up for any one of my promo codes and you get in here for 30 days for free. Um, just my way of giving back. Like I always say, when I eat, you all eat, man. But go to the website. You got DFS space, my brother and myself, 3,100 members. Click join now. Click on my logo, Skywalker DFS. It's a little slow. It's a little, it's busy today with the memberships, guys. And then pick your plans. We're the cheapest in the industry. Been around since 2016. We have the largest Discord, over 3,000 members, guys. We have over 10 plus pros in here. You can tail. Um, if your boys not, you know, feel like tailing me, you got 10 other people you can tail, guys. Uh, we have our bronze, silver, gold, our three day passes. It's a no brainer. Everybody gets everything. You get all my slips, the Skywalker DFS cheat sheet, uh, the members only podcast. I still play DraftKings. I still play FanDuel, guys. Um, just because if you don't tail, you fail, daddy. Woo! So let's get it, guys. DFS Club, we're on a roll. Shout out to the whole club. Stop missing out, guys. I know there's lots of discords out there, but let me ask you something. Are they cheaper than us? Maybe the same price, right? Maybe. I don't know. Do they have more pros than us? How long have they been around? Since 2016? Maybe since 2024? I don't know. But I'm just, I'm always 100 with you guys, man. That's why I play my slips. I'm one of the rare YouTubers that actually, when I give out my plays, I play my slip that I give you right in front of your faces. So I put money on it myself. So I don't just give out the picks. I play them too, Jack. So that's what's up. And if you guys want to get in for a free month and you don't have these promos, we'll get into DG Fantasy, but DG Fantasy is a sponsor. You sign up, use promo code Skywalker. They're giving you 25% off. It's an optimizer for a prop. So if you don't have time to do research, it does it all for you. Instead of going to a million websites and looking at all the odds, it's got them all on one page for you. It's got all the apps on top. I'll show you guys when we get into that. But DG Fantasy, you've seen everybody promote it. And for a good reason, because it's, it's the best thing going, man. You got Dabble, Dabble, Dabble. Sign up for Dabble. Use promo code Skywalker. Give me a follow on here when you sign up. They're giving you guys 25% or 20. They're giving you 25 bucks when you use promo code Skywalker. Um, it's Instagram for props, guys. Basically, that's all it is. Um, instead of posting your slip or po posting selfies, you're posting your slips. I need to slow the fuck down. Um, I'm just, I'm very excited. Very excited. Um, but yeah, use promo code Skywalker. Send me the screenshot that you made a deposit. I'll get you in the Discord. We got chalkboard, guys. You're not, you're, please don't be missing out on chalkboard. They're dropping deals. It's always Taco Tuesday on Chalkboard every single day. 
with all the discounts, um, with all the payouts, they're bumping up payouts, man. It's incredible. You can move your lines up or down. They pays more than Deblins and Goblins. You play $1 slips. Who doesn't want to play $1 slips, right? For all you cheapskates out there, this is for you too, man. Um, all the links are in the description down below, available on Google and Android. Um, send me the screenshot. I'll get you in the Discord again. The email is skywalkerdfs at gmail.com. Uh, let's see here. Then we got uh, we got better. I mean, forget about better, man. I play this as much as I play prize picks. Use promo code Skywalker. They'll match up to two hundred and fifty dollars, guys, on your first deposit, which is dope. You get better lines on here. No pun intended, but you just do. I'm just being one hundred. You can go for the thousand x, which is great for football. I mean, that's the best time to do it. Football and basketball. I think are the two best times. Um, you do four boosters with four normals. But five bucks on it, you win five grand, guys. It, it's pretty freaking cool, man. Plus a 250 deposit bonus. It's awesome. Uh, if you guys don't have a prize picks account, I have my own code. It's Skywalker. All my pros, all my codes are the same. It's always Skywalker, guys. You throw down a five dollar slip, they're giving you 50 bucks off the off the rip, guys. So you're already gonna be up once you use my promo code. Zip a rockstar for the working man. Look at this. I got the 1989 World Series patch on here and i got the oakland a's uh elephant on there cheers after i go to the game this will be behind me on the wall guys i gotta get uh jose to sign it and then uh then i'll probably frame it but till then it'll be on the wall and then we got the player prop shop let me show you guys this one i don't think enough of you taking advantage of this one i use it every day to be honest with you Cause I'm out. I'm out with the wife. We're going um, going around town, visiting all our friends. I got my phone with me, and if I need a play in a pinch, the player prop shop is where it's at. They literally spoon feed you the plays. They, those of you that do sports wagering, they give you a lot of plus money plays. Um, they give you, of course, favorite plays. They give you a whole paragraph on why they like the play. What it is, it's a cheat sheet, guys. That's all it is. A straight up cheat sheet. Who do they like? Who, you know, overs, unders, and a whole reason why to take it, man. When you use promo code Skywalker at checkout, use it one time because you only get to use it once. So don't use it for a day to pass. Try out a day pass. If you like it, when you sign up for a month, then use it, right? Otherwise, you're just wasting it. There it is right there. Promo code Skywalker at checkout. Again, in a pinch, it's beautiful, man. Um, they're dropping at least NFL 15, 15 plays, sometimes more than that. So check it out, guys. Any one of my promos you get in the Discord for free for 30 days, that's always my promise to you. Because when I eat, y'all eat, man. Let's get into the plays. So, again, this isn't a correlated. I have only played pretty much correlated stacks, but there's some loose plays, you know, some one-offs that I use for the videos. Because they're good plays. I mean, correlation is great. That's my strategy. It's been my strategy for the last two seasons. That's why you get a pay down bump because you have the advantage. Um, but for the video, I figure if I do just different plays for you guys, maybe that might help you more on, on your slips, um, on you know who to stack with these people. You know what I'm saying? I'm always trying something new. That's what she said. You know, That's what they always say when they're with the chosen one, the 60-minute man. I'm willing to try it. I'll try something new. All right, so let's bring this up. Let's get into the plays that I'm getting into. Oh, it deleted them. I mean, let me throw these back in real quick one time. Oh, prize picks. Prize picks, prize picks, prize picks. Let me go off the rip here. So <clears throat> there's one I like. I'm going to take, and I'll show you guys once I type them in. Lamar Jackson. I like his longest rush attempt at 15 and a half. There's one. Then I like Brock Purdy. I like his rush plus uh, receiving yards. I mean, he's not really a freaking rusher, guys. Don't get me wrong, but I just think the line's a little low. He's hit this line. I don't know. We'll check it out. Pass plus rush yards. But he's hit this line, like, ridiculously a lot. Ridiculously. And then I'm really liking... um. Geno Smith this week. Great matchup. Put him in. I'm not going to fantasy score. 
he's hit this in his last five games, like on fucking point. Um, so that's those three. And then the last one I was going to use was, yeah, let's go with Devontae Adams. I mean, the Raiders have the 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 matchup against Carolina this week, man. So correlation slips. I'll have some Raiders exposure for sure. Brock Bowers is in play also. Um, but let me let me bring this up. There we go. I got him back in there for you guys. And then we'll we'll go over to uh, Daily Grind and get some more plays over there. Right. So I'm giving you guys the plays that I'm going to play for the video, and then I'll give you extra ones from Daily Grind. So let's get into it. So Lamar Jackson over 15.5 longest rush against Dallas. Oh yeah, I think he gets that. I think his rushing yards are fine too. Brock Purdy, 241 plus pass plus rushing yards. I'm taking the over there against the Rams. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Easy peasy. The Rams are so banged up, dude. The Niners are too. That's why I think Brock might have to run a little bit. He's got Ayuk and he's got Draw Jennings, right? Geno Smith, over 16.5 fantasy score against Miami. Yeah, Miami. Ooh, you want to talk about it? without Tua? Forget about it. And then Devontae Adams going up against Carolina. Oh, yeah. 14 fantasy scores, way too low for him. I know Gardner Minshew's throwing him the ball, but Gardner, really, I mean, he's been okay. It's still too early to tell. I think as the season progresses, he's going to fade away like he always does, but it's week three. So I'm getting into these four. I'm going to throw 10 on it. All right. Because I play my plays, guys. I play them. I don't just give them out. Good luck finding that anywhere else on YouTube, boys. Lamar Jackson over 15 and a half longest rush. Brock Purdy over 241.5 pass plus rushing yards. Geno Smith over 16 and a half fantasy score. And then Devontae Adams over 14 fantasy score, guys. Love them or leave them. Take one, take two. It doesn't matter. Like The Rock says, you do you, I'll do me. And uh, yeah, I'm just trying to, I'm just here to help, guys. So. Let's go over to Daily Grind and see what's popping over there. And I'm going to save my better slips for the Discord too, guys. Correlation on better, so easy. You got to get in the fucking Discord. Son of a bitch. Tip a rock star for the working man. I haven't said that in a while, right? You guys love that one. I just saw one of my correlated stacks. The receiver hit in college football, but the, the quarterback went under. Guy threw for 44 attempts and still only threw for under 200 yards. How does that happen? Son of a bitch, you know? All right, let's get into daily grind, guys. Because if you don't know this tool, where the hell you been? Where the hell you been, man? Actually, actually, let's get into, let me show you the reason why I'm playing these plays, right? You guys are just like probably, <laughs> Skywalker's just throwing a bunch of random fucking plays out there. Let's break it down real quick. So, Geno Smith over his fantasy score. Nothing but green beans, guys. All in his last five. And again, it's the matchup, man. Going up against Miami. Yeah, I mean, they're toast without Tua. Everybody knows it. I'm sitting Jalen Waddle on my season long this week because, whew, excuse me, he'll probably go off, right? But this quarterback for Miami, holy shit, did he look bad last week. He looked lost. He looked like a lost child in Sears or in Safeway or a grocery or the mall. You know what I'm saying? He looked like he was ready to call his mommy to come pick him up. So Gino's been hitting, man. Gino does it all too. And the thing with the problem with Gino is who you pair him with, right? Is it going to be Metcalf? I mean, who's it going to be this week? So I'm just going to take Gino. I'm going to take his fantasy score at 16 and a half. It probably gets bumped. And then Lamar's over rushing. This one really, I'm surprised they put it on here, man. Look at this. Green Beans, eight out of his last 10, eight out of his last eight. Going up against some Dallas Cowboys. I expect this game to be competitive. And he's hit this, guys. Boom, 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 boom. 25 last game, too. When he goes, he goes. You know, he don't slide. He puts his shoulder down, and he, he fights for them yards, so. I think 15 and a half for his longest rush is a little low. I'm taking it. If it gets bumped to like 17, maybe just go to his rushing yards. You might as well just go to his rushing yards at that point. And then Brock Purdy, 
He's at this line, nine out of his last 10, boys. And let's face it, he hasn't always had Christian McCaffrey this season. Not yet, right? He still got it week one, week two. Um, barely got it against the Jets. I mean, hooked it, right? Against Minnesota is a really tough defense. He got 331 passing plus rushing yards. You can see nine out of his last 10. I was thinking about taking his fantasy score. I might in a couple of lineups, but since he's down two receivers and McCaffrey, it's kind of rough. So I think he's going to have to rush a little bit more than he wants to. He'll slide, right? He's going to slide. He's not Lamar, not even close, but Brock's still young. He's still a kid. He looks like he's fucking 12 years old. Um, looks like he's in high school. So does McCaffrey, to be honest with you. Um, but yeah, I really love this one. Get it in there against the Rams. Come on now. Come on now. I think this is the week where we start to see him get right. Because I, as I explained in the Thursday night video, the starters do not play in the preseason anymore. So they use the regular season first two, first three weeks as their preseason. It's totally ridiculous. Passing yards are down by like 50%. It's crazy, guys. Hopefully next year they start playing their, their starters in the preseason so they don't start 0-2, 0-3 when they're better than that. Look at Cincinnati. I mean, a pure example. The whole NFL, look at tight ends in the NFL. All dumpster fires, all of them. And then Devontae Adams, it's the matchup, guys. It's the I love fantasy scores. Um, going up against Carolina, I think Devontae's going to – be free to do whatever he wants. And since it's the Raiders, they're at home. But since the Raiders left Oakland, let's look at right here. All right. Just hear me out. This, this is a fan base that is unmatched, right? Oakland. When the Raiders played at the Oakland Coliseum, teams feared. They feared going to that stadium to play football. Now the Raiders left Oakland. Now they're in Las Vegas, where every home game's a road game because there are more road fans in that stadium than home fans. You don't believe me? Watch the game for yourself. You'll see more road. You would never in a million years see that in Oakland. Never, never, never. They have no fan base in Las Vegas, and the same's going to be for the Oakland A's. They're not going to have no fan base. It's a fucking travesty. Don't even get me started. Don't don't even get me started. It's not the city of Las Vegas' fault. It's the it's these greedy fucking owners, right? They don't give a fuck about the fans and care less. But back to the point, Devontae Adams. Hell, I think Carolina, we'll see what they do at quarterback this week, right? You already know they're they're switching it up. If Carolina can keep this game close, this game could be a shootout. Um it's the Raiders. The Raiders don't blow anybody out. They just don't. They're like the Philadelphia uh, 76ers. They just don't blow anybody out. So every game, every team has a chance against the Raiders. They just do. The Raiders are not good, but Devonta Adams is great. So I'm going to take that fantasy score. I mean, let me bring this back up. I think that's really low for, I'd still say, I know he's a little older now, but I still say one of the best wide receivers in the league, 14. And, the best matchup right now against Carolina. Yeah, I like it. Hopefully Carolina, you know, this new quarterback, they change things up. They keep it somewhat close, and he hits this no problem, guys. No problem. So that's what I'm getting into what I'm getting to. Let's see if we can pick off some other plays over here in DG Fantasy like I wanted to show you guys. If you don't have this tool, again, it's promo code Skywalker. Um, and get that, get that discount, man. All right, so let's refresh this, which I love to do. And here are your, your apps up here, right? So if I want to go to better, which is what I love to do, you just get, look at these odds on the better, better, like 142, 134. That's like everywhere you see. You'll see minus 200 on here. But let's go to price picks. Because all y'all love price picks. All y'all love it. I do too. Okay, I do too, but... <sighs> The payouts are just so much better. I mean, you're getting 20x on better for a five man. On prize picks, you're only getting 10x. And that's if it's not correlated. Even worse, right? So you get all these different sports here, but let's narrow them down because there's so many sports that they offer here. 
I mean, they got Premier League. Holy shit. They got tennis. Of course, they got college football. They got NFL. They got MLB. They got UFC. Value Tainment. WNBA. That poverty fucking league. You believe the second week in a row, the WNBA taco missed. And I was not even surprised. Not even surprised. Not at all. I... Except for Caitlin Clark, I cannot stand the WNBA, man. It's so embarrassing to watch sometimes. Uh, And if it wasn't for the NBA funding that league, that league would have went bankrupt 20 years ago. The only reason why they're still going now is because the NBA funds it. The men's men's NBA funds that league. So take note. All right. So see, here you go. You can match this one with Geno Smith. DK Metcalf over receptions. It's juice to go over. Four and a half right now, minus 137 on Pinnacle, which is pretty much, that's not all I look at, but that's the Bible to me when it comes to sports wagering and odds, right? You get this with DG Fantasy. It likes that. Um, It likes Brian Thompson under receptions. That's kind of a random one. Same with Caleb Williams. You're taking that free square. Don't forget you get that free square, man. Um, I ain't touching Caleb Williams, dude. I'm not taking it. His fantasy score, yeah, I mean, not taking it. So Lamar's rush attempts, they like that one. I like this one too. Calvin Ridley over receptions at three and a half. This game should be competitive. So minus 123 on pinnacle looks good. Tyler Lockett under receptions is plus money, right? So is it gonna be is it gonna be Metcalf or Lockett? It seems like these guys take turns. That's the problem with, with correlating with Geno Smith. Unless you're just gonna do both of them, but both of these guys don't ever go off in the same game. Uh, Bijan Robinson, receptions under four and a half. Eh, that's that's a scary one, but that's favored to go. Um, all these Saints players, I love all these Saints players this week. Um, Trey McBride, receptions under five and a half. Mike Evans, over four and a half receptions, is highly favored at minus 133. Um, let's see here. You can go all the way down. And then the thing, the cool thing is with betters, this is what you want to pay attention to with when you use DG, Daily Grand Fantasy, all right? You want to look at the lines because if you're getting a lot of positive EV plays over here, earlier in the week, it's crazy, the, the line differences. The closer you get to game time, they're, they even up, right? Like this Tim Patrick play here, receiving yards, over eight and a half. Everywhere else, it's 10 and a half. It's 11 and a half, right? This is why I love better so much. I look for these line discrepancies. I know Schroeder loves them too. You can hear him meowing. You got uh for tonight, we got baseball. We got Walker Bueller pitching outs under 17 and a half, which I like that. Walker Bueller has not gone deep in the games. The Dodgers have clinched a playoff spot. They ain't gonna, they are not gonna let Walker Bueller stay out there. I just don't think so. But look at the line here. So it's 17 and a half on better. The rest of the field is 16 and a half. You guys see where I'm getting at? That's a steal right there. I love that Walker Bueller play on better. Uh, prize picks is probably 16 and a half, maybe, but I still like the under, right? So this is just an example. And then last thing, the AI slip generator, because you guys got to see this shit. This streak that it's on, you guys before, like, we're like, oh, look at these bigs up and ups and downs, right? But since it's an AI generated tool, which means it runs thousands and thousands of scenarios for every single game, right? And then you see the ups and downs get littler and littler. It gets more consistent, right? It's AI. It gets smarter. It's getting smarter. More consistent there. More consistent there. AI, AI, AI. See it? Look at this. And then way up. Look at this uptick. That's when you play these slips down here. They got dabble slips. They got prize picks. They got fliff. They got everything, guys. Look at underdog. DraftKings pick six. They got all these lines you can play over here. All ready to go, man. All you got to do is plug and play them. And the, and the, the um, prize picks ones, you just click on this green tab right here. And then you just put in the dollar amount. This is DG Fantasy, guys. Check it out. Use promo code Skywalker. It pays for itself. You get to spend some money to make some money in this industry. And if you're not doing that, you're just you're going at it blind. Now, if you're a, a casual person, I get it. You know, you don't want to spend money on these tools you just want to watch the youtube videos or you want to you know just follow my plays i get it but if you're if you're serious about making money and being like me this is all i do 
I don't have a nine to five. I'm retired. I retired at 44 years old. I made some wise investments. And then I decided, you know what? I'm pretty damn good at this DFS thing. Why don't I do it? So back in, you know, I started this channel in 2016, but I was still working, you know. I was still doing the, the executive production, the bodyguard stuff. And then I made my money. I'm like, let's do DFS full time. Let's see what happens. Now I have a two-story large house in California on the water. I have a brand new Mustang 2024. This is all I do, guys. This is all I do. So if you're serious, you got to spend money to make money. You got to have some some freaking ammo and the freaking Glock. Let's go. They're probably going to take me down for saying something like that. So stupid. But are you guys ready to win this week? I'm ready to win this week. Another sip of Rockstar for the working man. Make sure you remember, I'm going to do another. I'm going to do a Sunday night football video tonight. But remember. Tuesday, I will be at the Oakland Coliseum. I'll be right behind home plate. You'll see me on TV. Watch the game. I'll jump up. I'll wave my arms so you guys can see me. I'll talk some smack. Um, I'm going to vlog it. I'm going to bring my video camera in there. It's going to be very emotional for me. Um, but I'm ready. The jersey's here. I got my Jose Canseco jersey, number 33. I got the green to go under it, guys. Um it's, it's, it's like I'm going to a funeral, to be honest with you. But I'm going to try and make the best of it. Um, but you're going to see a lot of grown men crying in the crowd. Guaranteed. Guaranteed. But until then, let's go, Oakland. Most importantly, let's go, you guys. Let's go, DFS Club. Let's win some fucking money this Sunday. Again, I think the preseason kinks are maybe mostly out for the most part. But if week four is going to be fire. Week four is going to be where it's at. But you guys got any questions or just comments, please leave them in the description down below or in the comments down below. You want to sign up for any one of my promos, the, all the links are in the description down below. Send me a screenshot to skywalkerdfs at gmail.com after, after, you rascals, after you make the deposit. I'll get you in for 30 days. That's my promise to you. Happy Saturday. Let's get this spread. Don't take shit from nobody. Absolutely nobody. I live and die by that, guys. And until next time, always. Woo!